Yeah, let's see here. Zoom out. Yeah, hey guys, it is uh, it is a Thursday, and uh, this rain is just too much. Off and on, it's raining and then it's not raining, then it's raining and it's not raining. So as you can see, the sun is out now, and it's hot in the sun. Yeah, I think it's supposed to rain some more. I don't know. I'm losing track. You know, it's like, why even bother looking now? Just anticipate it's going to rain, right? So anyway, uh, I was working on a new video last night, and uh, I was thinking, um, hmm, I need to add some a couple of comments here. A couple of live comments. Uh, it has to do with my wiring. I'm not going to go and re review and show you the whole wiring bit, but I kind of like DIY'd, yeah, did it myself. Um, took me a lot of time, but um, I just want to give you a quick overview of what I did, and then you make up your own mind what you want to do. There are other ways to do it, and that's basically what this video is about. There are other ways to do it, more expensive ways. You know, starting about $300 just for the materials. You still have to run the wires. In other words, you, the wires got to go from here to somewhere. To your accessories, to your battery. Uh, but yeah, there's some pre-wired relays, switches, and um, fuses. You can buy, all made up. Come in nice little boxes, little packages. And they start about $300, and the fanciest one I saw was over $700 because it comes with a little touch screen. I'm figuring if you got $700 to spend on switches, you're going to pay to somebody. You're going to pay to have somebody install them, you know? You got money. Just look. We see you coming. Come on in. Yeah. This guy's got some bucks. Let's charge him another seven, eight hundred dollars to install that thing. They love you. Yeah. Anyway. My setup only costs a few dollars, so uh, here's a quick overview, and then I'll do a little review on some products that are out there, okay? By the way, I am just sitting here in the park right now because I just got out of the gym, and I don't want to go home because then I'm just going to be locked inside all day working on my PC, and that's starting to get really monotonous. But uh, as you can see, these are the switches I put in here. These were like 11 bucks on Amazon. You can find these like at AutoZone or, um, you know, them kind of places. The problem was I could not find two of them at AutoZone or uh, O'Reilly's. They had one, but they did not have the other one. So, this side here is for everything in the back of the truck, and this side here is for everything in the front of the truck. And right now, I'm only using two switches in the front. LED bar on the bumper and uh, fog lights. These are spares for whatever I want them to be. Right now they're nothing. Over here I got the uh, KC Gravities on the roof. And then this is uh, LED floodlights on the left side. LED floodlights on the right side. And this will probably be for reverse or backup LEDs one day. So, this cost me over $22 for these switches. Now the thing is you got to wire them. So it took me some time to wire everything up. You can buy them pre-wired, but it's going to cost you some money. So just think about that. So let me show you what I did in the back. So this is how I wired everything. Now, what I'd like to just highlight here, concentrate on, is this right here, okay? These are my fuses. There's only six circuits here. In other words, there's only six fuses. And this is a really cheap setup. I'm going to redo this. As you can see, one already melted on there. The fuse melted. Piece of junk. Okay. I'm going to upgrade that eventually. I'm going to get uh, one from uh, Blue Sea Systems. It has the positives for your fuses and everything. And it also has a bus bar built into it for your negatives, like this one here. The blue C one will eliminate this. All these wires will go to one block, okay? 
that's only like 40 bucks for that fuse block but so here's my relays I only got three circuits out here uh, LED gravities KC lights on the roof right side left side and that's all all this other stuff is extra stuff so just to show you what I got this is what I'm talking about right here they have pre-wired fuse blocks and relays okay they come in little boxes and all you got to do is run your wires from your lights to the box you got to run a hot right a power and then you've got to run your wires to your lights so these are like light wires or whatever. and then and then another one to your switches right to a separate box or you can buy them and make your own see all that's going to take time too they have boxes like this that are already pre-made for your fuses and relays but you got to wire them okay so that's the difference you either get them pre-wired the pre-wired ones are the expensive ones okay you can just buy the box yourself and add your own relays and fuses but all that's uh, you know, it's just a lot more work, but uh, maybe you'll learn something along the way. I, I've learned a few things. Anyway, that's what this video is going to be about. I just, you know, I'd rather be out here than at home, stuck in a little room working on the PC. <sighs> Although it's getting cold when some clouds move in. Sure is greened up real nice out here. So stay tuned, uh, you might be interested in this, you may not, you might think I'm full of it, but anyway, I'll put a in the, the description box below uh, where you can find some of these products I got out there. You know, there's painless wiring, makes uh, wiring, yeah, fuses and relays and switches, and then uh, S-Pod, yeah. It's 4x4 four four S pod. Somebody made a comment on my setup here. It says, why didn't you just why didn't you just buy an S pod? Well look at the price of the S pod. Like I said, they start at three hundred dollars. I spent maybe a hundred bucks. Maybe. Okay, those prices you see are just for the parts, not for the wire or the connectors and all that other stuff. So just keep that in mind. All that, all that little stuff will nickel and dime you and your time. Don't forget that. Okay, let's take a quick look at the S-Pod, what they offer out there for $360 something dollars. You get six relays, six fuses, and six switches. Plus, this will automatically shut down if your voltage drops below a certain voltage. Like, if you leave your lights on, it'll turn everything off. All right, so this is their more expensive version. This one has a touchscreen switches, you know. That's the only difference. Okay, here's a product from Painless Wiring you might be interested in. They, uh, they do hot rods and custom cars and uh, race cars and all that kind of stuff. Complete wiring systems. I mean, wiring harnesses and the fuses and fuse blocks. But this is one I'm interested in would be the Trail Rocker Relay Center. Now, it's got the same fuses and relays. And switch switches are optional, so you have to add... The switches on the right, which is a little more expensive, but the switches are heavy-duty weatherproof switches, so depends on how you want to go there. Okay, here's another system I saw online. I thought you might be interested. It's only 156 bucks. Six circuits, right? Six switches, relays, fuses. Um, does it work? I, I have no idea, but hey, you might want to look into that. It might just save you a lot of time. I tell you, it's a lot of work rigging all this stuff up. So that's one way to go. There's more, probably more out there. All right, 
guys, let's go check out this uh, this other job I did. Other electrical job I did on the Bronco. You might have seen it, or you probably might not even know I own a Bronco. But yeah, there's my Bronco back there. So on this install here, this is redone. I did it once the first time, and I thought I knew what I was doing. When I rolled it over, I decided to do it over again. Do it a little better, you know? I learned some of that the first time, so this is the second time. Um, so what I got is for everything on the roof, everything overhead, I've got a box up on top. Ammo box from Harbor Freight, I think it was under 20 bucks. I got all my fuses and relays in there. And that controls my uh, 75 watt HID KC uh, daylighters and um, my dust lights back here in the back and I used to have two backup lights right there but this thing's been a work in progress since I rolled it over So now I'm, I'm including this in this video just to give you ideas, you know, you don't have to buy a plastic box and all that stuff, or the pre-made and pre-wired stuff. Uh, this is what I used for my fuses and relays on the Bronco. Let's see if it's waterproof, it's supposed to be. There you go. Yeah. So inside there I've got... Uh, like I got on the Colorado, I got the fuse block, fuse block, block right here, and here's my ground bar, and then uh, let's see what else I got. Oh, there's my, my relays, relays, relay, relay. I ran a uh, what? Four gauge, four gauge wire up here, so I got plenty of power. Uh -huh, it looks like it's dry. I think it's working. But it did take a lot of time to get all the wires in here and crimp everything. And, and it looks like it's working. This isn't a bad box for the price at Harbor Freight. It's got a seal inside. It locks down. There you go. That's got to power these, uh, those are HIDs, um, what do they call those? Good. Anyway, those are 75 watt HIDs each, so. I'm trying not to fall off the truck, I'm standing on the tire here and, uh, uh yeah. Yeah, so yeah, those are those are the HIDs. Those are those are KCs with the uh, HID kits in them. Kind of warm up a little, but yeah, they start warming up and they change color, but they do take a lot of power. So. That's why I'm running a four gauge up to the roof and that's where they split up. And then I'm thinking I'm running 10 gauge or 12 gauge wire. And, and, this is my switch panel. This switch panel here I found at, uh, what, J.C. Whitney. It's for RVs in their RV department. See, it says JRV Products. This comes pre-wired. This is a kind of a nice little switch kit here. I was going to order one for the Colorado, but it didn't fit in the spot I got. And so, as always, be sure to subscribe and like, and even if you don't like, you know. <laughs> There's always one guy out there. Yeah. That's okay, though. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs>